Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can adjust the sound or vibration on your alarms on your Garmin Phoenix 7 series watch. Now I'm using the 7X Solar Sapphire. It shouldn't matter which version of the Phoenix 7 you've got. This video is going to work the same for everybody. The only thing you have to have first is you have to have an alarm that's out there that's built. I've done a video in the past that walks you through the basics of building an alarm. But in this case, we've got an alarm that's out there and we just want to adjust whether or not it's making a sound or vibration. I'm going to show you that. Now I'm going to be using the buttons. If you've got touchscreen functionality turned on, you can use touchscreen as well. I'm going to press and hold the middle button on the left side, which is our menu button. And then I'm going to use the down button to go to clocks, press the upper right button to select clocks, and then by default the first one you should see is alarms, but if you don't you can use the up or down button to go to alarms. And you'll see I've got two alarms. What's nice about this feature is you can set it per alarm. So maybe you want your first alarm to vibrate, but you want your second alarm to make sound and vibrate. You can totally do that on this. Now the tricky part is you would think, oh, okay, I need to press this upper right button to select this alarm. All this first button is gonna do is toggle the alarm on or off. If you wanna edit the alarm, you're actually gonna press the down button and go to the very bottom and choose edit. So what we're gonna do is let's go to the very first alarm. I'm gonna choose it by pressing the upper right button and then we're gonna just use the down button and we've got the option for sound and vibrate. If I press the upper right button, I can toggle this. So now I just want it to vibrate or I can set it for just tone. So in this first alarm, I'm gonna just set it to vibrate. And then I can simply press the back button and I can go to my second alarm and I can adjust it the same way. So my second alarm, we just wanna make sure it's set to say tone and vibrate. Pretty simple stuff. You'll notice in here, you can also do other things like control the backlight label the alarm, so on and so forth. I've done some videos that walk you through some of those. Once you've got it set the way you want, you can press the back button, go back one more time. You can actually look at the alarm and kind of see what it's doing. So for example, this one, if you'll look, the sound has a line through it. So it's telling me that vibrate is on, but sound is off. The second one is showing me that the sound is on as well as vibrate. So you can kind of see at a glance what's going on with your alarms without going into the edit screen. Compress the back button, go back to my main screen, and we've successfully adjusted the sound and vibration per alarm on our Garmin Instinct, I'm sorry, Garmin Phoenix 7 series watch. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.